Hello everyone! To send Game Boy games to your T84 Plus CE, you have the Jailbreaker Calculator now, which is something other tutorials may not cover. I'll immediately start with everything you need to download, and all of the links will be in the pinned comment and the description. The emulator we'll be using is called TI Boy CE by Calc84 Maniac. To download it, we need to go to TI Boy CE's website, then scroll down to Releases and select the latest release. Click on GitHub, which will take you to the developer's GitHub repository. You'll need to scroll down a little ways and download tiboycealpha.zip. Save it to any folder. Next, we need to convert our Game Boy ROM. For legal reasons, I can't show you where to download ROMs, and you should only use ROMs you legally own. I'm going to click back to go back to the website and go to the ROM converter. This is a converter that works entirely in your browser. Click Browse and go to the folder where your ROM is saved. In this case, I'm converting a Game Boy Color game called Pokemon Silver. It's a niche game you may not have heard of Pokemon before. Every game must have a unique five characters. I'm going to name mine PKSLV, just so I know that this is Pokemon Silver. And finally, we enter a longer name, which is more descriptive and will show up in the emulator. Click OK, and all of the converted files will be listed. I prefer to click Download T84 Plus CE Bundle because it takes all of these files and compresses them into a single file that you can just send to the calculator. Now save this to the same folder we've been using. Now that we have TI Boy CE and our ROM converted, we need a way to actually run it on the calculator. Unfortunately, TI made it impossible to run assembly games like the emulator without jailbreaking the calculator first. So next we need to go to Artifice, which is the jailbreak we'll be using. You can click Get Started, then scroll down and download Artifice.8xv. This is the jailbreak itself, and save it to the same folder we've been using. Next, you need to download Cabri Jr., which is the application the jailbreak exploits to run assembly programs. This will take you to Texas Instruments website, and you can download the file there. And as always, download it to the same folder. The last required file is the C libraries, which most DA4 plus CE programs require to run. Just scroll down and select clibs.8xg. This next part is optional, but I'll also be downloading Cesium, which is a significantly faster way to run files once you've jailbroken your calculator, and save it to the same folder. Great, now we have all the files needed to run our Game Boy game, but we actually have to send the files to the calculator first. If you're using a Chromium browser, like Chrome, you can go to ticalc.link and there will be instructions on the webpage on how you can send files to your calculator completely within your browser. I'm using Firefox, so I'll need to download TI Connect CE, which is Texas Instruments application for sending files to the calculator. I'll download the EXE and save it to the same folder. Remember, when you're downloading TI Connect CE, download the blue and green icon. The orange and blue icon is the old TI Connect that does not work with the TI 84 Plus CE. Great, now that everything is downloaded, we just need to open the folder location we save things to. I'll move this over for you. Now this next step is important, because otherwise the files will not send to your calculator. You need to extract the files from the zip files by right-clicking them, then select Extract All. If you do not see the Extract All button, then I suggest installing 7-zip. You can extract them to the same folder you're currently in. Now that everything's extracted, we need to install TI Connect CE. If you already have TI Connect CE or using ticalc.link, you can skip this step. Just double click the EXE and it'll ask you for admin privileges. Since I already have it installed, I'm going to click no, but you can click yes and follow the installation instructions. Open TI Connect CE once it's installed, and we are going to send over all the files we downloaded. Plug in your calculator using the charging cable that came with it. This is a mini USB to USB A cable. If you're using a cable that did not come with your calculator, just be aware that not all cables support data transfer, so if your calculator does not show up in your computer, try a different cable first. Preferably, select Archive for all of the files we're about to send. This is because files in the archive do not get lost after a RAM reset. You need to send tiboyce.8xp and tiboydat.8xv. Optionally, you can also send tiboyskn.8xv. This optional file just shows the Game Boy bezel on the screen of the calculator. Now we go back and send Artifice and Cabri Jr. to the calculator. 
editor TL in here. I forgot to record me also sending the C libraries to the calculator. Simply also select clibs.8xg and drag and drop it on the TI Connect. All right, let's get back to it. If at any point you get a pop-up on your calculator that says garbage collect, you can safely press yes and the calculator will clean up its storage to make room for the files you're sending. Now this is the file we converted from the ROM and we can send to the calculator. Now be aware that not all Game Boy ROMs can fit on the calculator. Some are too big and you'll just have to find a different game to play. As long as they are under one and a half to two megabytes, assuming you have no other files on your calculator, you should be okay to send that file. When you drag the file onto TI Connect CE, it will take a minute for TI Connect CE to process all the files. Now that we have everything sent to the calculator, we can verify everything sent by clicking this button over here and scrolling through the list of files. Make sure to look for TI Boy CE, TI Boy Dat, Artifice, Cabri Jr., and Cesium if you sent it. I already have files sent to my calculator, so your list of files will look different from mine. Now that I've confirmed all the files are here, we'll disconnect the calculator and we'll proceed from there. Now that we're unplugged from the computer and on the calculator, we need to first jailbreak the calculator by going to Apps, selecting Cabri Jr., and press Enter again. Finally, go down to Open, and select Artifice. This is simply a program launcher. First, I'm going to launch Cesium. If you didn't send Cesium to your calculator, then you would just scroll down and select TI Boy CE. We get a message that Cesium is now installed in the Apps menu and we can delete the installer, we don't need it anymore. So I'm going to press Mode to quit Artifice, press Apps, and now scroll down to Cesium. And now we have a list of all of the programs on the calculator. I'm gonna scroll down to TI Boy CE and press Second. We can now see the ROM I sent to the calculator, Pokemon Silver version. The first ROM will automatically be selected, so just press Second, and the game will launch. Just like that, I'm playing a Game Boy Color ROM on my calculator. For the controls, you use the arrow keys and second and alpha. Whenever you want to quit, you can simply press clear. This will take you to the menu where the game will pause and you can edit any settings you'd like. You can explore these and use the TI Boy CE website, which explains what all these options do. For now, I am going to simply scroll down to Exit TI Boy CE. If you want to get rid of a ROM, you can open TI Boy CE and press Delete, then select Yes. I want to keep it, so I will select No. Exit this screen, press Clear. And that's all. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and I'll be happy to help. Have a good day.